to this day to this day to this day welcome to flip flop <laughs> what's up friends and family mr flip flop pardon if this sun is a little too bright i get to shine you know a little bit birthday weekend was crazy appreciate all you guys who came out all the love you guys uh, showed me during the birthday weekend and pardon me, we in the new red and black crib, and I didn't put my shades up yet. It's been hectic. Uh, from Halloween to the birthday, it's been nuts. So now I'm getting some time to recoup and get myself together. But um, shout to all you guys for the birthday love. Don't forget Thanksgiving if you're here this, this week for Thanksgiving. Flip Flop will have the Thanksgiving plate. Um, also, Super Bowl, those tickets are moving fast, so make sure you holler at us. Get it this real fast for those tickets. Um, I'm expecting by mid-January to pretty much be sold out. So make sure you get it this. Um, also, you know, once again with the channel, I appreciate all the love, everything we're doing. So now this video right here is just five things I love about Dominican Republic. Uh, not just the Sioux. I'm talking about, the, you know, you guys know I'm all over Dominican Republic. Um, but five things I really love about DR. No particular order. No particular order, it's just uh, five things I love about Dominican Republic. So let me see real quick. First off, the beach. I'm not big on the beach. Most people know I don't go to the beach that often, but it's always good to have the beach available. You know, I'm from the city, so ain't many much beach besides Jones Beach in New York and Rockaway Beach, excuse me. Um, so, you know, the beach, I always say, you know, I'm surrounded by water and I can't swim. I'm on an island, so it's beautiful. Uh, so one thing... I love about this country is the beaches. I mean, I travel to many different beaches. One of my favorite beaches is, uh, I believe it's called Playa Ensenada, which is near Punta Rusha, where we went to Paradise Island. That's one of my favorite beaches. So one thing I do love about this country is the beaches. Uh, the weather. What, what else can I say about the weather? For all you guys back home right now, freezing in the cold, I ain't trying to joke, but why would I not love the weather in this country? Um, it gets hot every now and then. You have its hot spurts, you know, with summertime here, whatever. But year round, it's in the 70s, 80s. I mean, sorry, high 70s to 80s. Um, it gets in the 90s and 100s every now and then. That's you know, I'm not really big on the heat, but um, the weather's beautiful. I mean, year round. I mean, the coldest it probably gets is sometimes when we have a little uh, system coming through, and it's like. Uh, maybe 50 degrees cold and everybody's outside in bubble jackets. That's kind of cool to see uh, people in bubble jackets in Dominican Republic. But 50 degrees is probably the coldest it's ever been in, as far as I've seen. Uh, maybe it's going down to 40 here and there. I didn't notice, but 50 is probably the coldest I've ever seen. The people. I always tell you guys, Dominicans are beautiful people. Now, some, some of you only know the hustle and bustle people of Sasua. But as I've told a story a million times, I was in Port Plata hanging with a homegirl of mine. And um, she was cooking, so I'm out eating, drinking, talking. And we had a lot of food. So there's these three guys sitting on the corner. And she goes, hey, are you guys hungry? Didn't know them. I didn't know them. They said, yeah. She said, come on and get a plate. We're literally sitting at the table with people we don't know eating. Now tell me the last time you bought a meal for somebody you didn't know or cooked a meal for somebody you didn't know. I think that's a beautiful thing. And me growing up the way I grew up, I actually love that in the fact that people are willing to help each other. And it's like, if I eat, you eat. You know, unfortunately, as Americans and some, some Europeans, Canadians, whatever, but I know for America, we're not like that. You know, so I, I feel these people are very beautiful, um, family oriented. If you notice, a lot of them don't like being separated from their family. Um, so I love the people. I think the pe people are very beautiful. I've heard stories where people broke down and someone just came and helped them on the side of the road. And I tell people, that's what it's really like. People are not always out try trying to get you. They want to help you. They want to see you do good. So I love the people of the island, uh, you know, the beauty of the island. Um, I've never ran into really many situations where people were not good-hearted. You know, for the most part, they're very good-hearted. Um, friends, well... I've met a lot of friends in my life, but on my journey through Dominican Republic, I've met even more people all around the country, locals, Dominicans, Haitians, Europeans, Canadians, Africans, um, from all walks of life. You know, uh, I have a good friend who makes maps. I didn't even know what that job was, but you know, we met a few years back and it was like, wow, I met a guy who 
literally was responsible for all the maps in the world that you guys use. Um, so, you know, I've met people from all walks of life. I've come across amazing friends. And one thing I always tell people about being on the North Coast is this is a huge expat community. So on the North Coast, and when I say North Coast, meaning Porta Plata, Sasua, um, Cabarete, and even Sabaneta, there is a huge expat community. So you're always going to run to um, fellow North Americans, whether it be Canadian or American, uh, fellow Europeans. You're always going to run into expats on the North Coast. They're all over the country spread out, but the North Coast has the biggest concentration of expats. So you're always going to run into somebody. Um, and I think that's a good thing, you know, because you, uh, you never feel alone. You always have someone you can talk to, maybe count on, you know, uh, talk your problems out to, whatever the case may be. But uh, I've met a lot of people here in my travels, and I love it. I've been all, Like I said, I've been all over the country, so I've met people all over the country. But one thing I do love about the North Coast is the expat community. I actually love this expat community. Um, another thing. Number five, like I said, no particular order in these things. These are just five things I thought of and wrote down real quick of what I love about the country. It's very inexpensive. Very inexpensive. Your money goes a long way in the Dominican Republic. Um, I just moved to a new apartment. I'll give you that video uh, hopefully next week. Um, almost twice the size of the previous apartment. $15 less. You know, as I said, you guys, you guys can find apartments if you really want to look for them. But um, most people don't, don't take the time to do the footwork. Uh, so rent, super cheap. My rent right now was like 235 you know, for a huge two-bedroom, two-bathroom. Um, food, very inexpensive. Even if you go out to eat, when, when you go out to eat, if you compare your bill going out to eat here compared to going out to eat back in the States, it's two different worlds. Shoot, going to the movies, you can go to the movies for two Popcorn, drink, candy if you want, you know, and nachos and all that. You're not going to spend, I don't think you're going to spend $10. At least not $12, give or take. In the States, just the entrance is 20 bucks, And then if you want popcorn and candy, you may have to pull the credit card out. You know, so the, in the, the money goes a long way here. And that's one thing I really do love about this country is you, can, you don't need a lot to get by. But if you have a lot, you know, you're, you're good. And if you don't have a lot, you're good. You know, there's a lot of people barely getting by, but they still live very well. You know what I'm saying? So the inexpensive of the country is the one thing I really, really love about this country. A lot of people want to move here because it is so inexpensive. Because let's say if you retire and your retirement is two to $3,000 a month, that doesn't go a long way in New York and not many states. But here, $3,000 a month goes a long way. So that's the difference. So a lot of people, when they retire, they want to move out because... You know, in the States, that money does that, that retirement and 401 does go a whole long way back in the States. But here it goes a long way. So the inexpensiveness is definitely something I love about this country. Um, your money goes much farther than it would anywhere else. So that's my five reasons I love the Dominican Republic. I'm sure I will have five more. Um, I'm also going to put a video up five reasons I dislike the Dominican Republic. You know, I got to be I got to be honest. Like I tell everybody and I tell you stories and I tell you things. But I'm never going to tell you it's all peaches, all peaches and cream and all beautiful. Every, everywhere has its side and things you may not like, and I will give you that video soon as well. So you guys be good. I appreciate the love. Flip Flop Sports Bar still going strong. Nothing's happening over here. Um, appreciate you guys subscribing, watching the videos, more DR Cribs, more information coming. Mr. Flip Flop and I'm out.